Hi, in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create a URL that you can send out uh, for FormButter. So normally out of the box, FormButter will send out an email with the URL at, uh, uh, in the email, but here you can just generate the URL and then decide how to email it yourself. For that, we're first gonna create a uh, FormButter.config, uh, an email obviously, and a an, uh, pack with an actionable. So. That is all explained on the academy. Uh, for this case, I have already have an actionable and I'm going to assign it the class called uh, actionable form butler now. So this is important. It has to be this class for this functionality. For the rest, I have chosen the uh, a certain email doc config. Uh, I'm going to send it out to a certain contact. Um, the document action is use attached, so I'm not going to regenerate the document every time, but I can easily change that obviously here to regenerate. Okay. Um, and then all of the normal items that you can have on a doc config. So this pack is going to be important and I have set it up already. Um, now the functionality here starts with creating an, uh, a flow. The flow is in this case a record triggered flow, but it can also be any other type of flow. This is just an example, but of course you can use that example in any flow. And in the flow, I'm going to add an, uh, an action, a form butler action. So our form butler action, uh, that's from form butler action, is to create the form butler URL. So create public URL. Then the pack ID, normally what I would uh, assume is that you uh, search that pack ID via an, uh, yeah, via logic inside the flow. In this case, I'm gonna just for demo purposes, use the pack ID that I have right here. But like I said, I would assume that you would search for it for a certain pack in the flow. The record ID, this is a record triggered flow. So I can just select the uh, record from the uh, uh, flow and I'm gonna say dot ID here. So that's the ID that I want to use. Uh, I'm not going to go for an alternative, not going to go for a certain locale. And um, so uh, this is a, a question, do you want to create a unique URL? So that means that every time somebody clicks the uh, URL, do you want to create a new form request or do you want to reuse the existing form requests? What is the use case here? For instance, you say, well, uh, I want to send it out via an email to a specific person. Then yes, create a unique URL because every time this person wants to open the, uh, uh, the URL from the email again, you don't want to create a new form request. You just want to fill in the existing form request that was created initially. If you want to use that URL and place it, for instance, on uh, or send it out via uh, um, via email to multiple people, or you want to put it on an, uh, um, uh, on a website, then that URL, every time it's clicked, once needs to create a new form butler request. So that's how you can choose to use a unique URL or not. In this case, uh, the intention is to mail it out to a one person. So I'm going to say true here. Yes, I want this URL to be unique. And then the valid until it's not required, but here I can, for instance, go for um, the opportunity and I'm gonna, for instance, select the close date. So that's it. That's uh, how I can set up my URL. Now the URL will be created via this action and actually uh, returns the URL. So now you have to do something with that URL. For instance, I wanna store it on my uh, request here, on my opportunity. I have a field here on my opportunity, form butter URL, and I want to store it in this field. So let's uh, say I want to do an update here, update records. Uh, so update form butter URL. Okay, so use the opportunity that it triggered. Yes, I want to use it. I want to do it always. Search the field, form butter URL. And then it will say, well, there is a variable called text from create public URL. So that's the uh, uh, the action that we chose to create a public URL via form butter. Okay, so I now have this uh, public URL. I click done and then I say save. So I'm gonna save my, um, my flow here and activate it. The flow will be triggered when the uh, uh, stage goes to negotiation review. 
So the only thing I have to do now is uh, change the stage here. And then if all works okay, my uh, URL will be filled in. And yes, look at this. Now I have the URL right here. So I can use this URL to, gen to send out emails. I can copy it, uh, whatever. And I also, of course, can open it directly from here. If the URL is opened, uh, it will initially create a form request. So that's the first time it, uh, it opens. It will create a form request. You can see those form requests uh, right here. So let's take a look. This is the form request that was uh, that was created exactly at the moment that I opened the URL. So now every time that I reopen this URL, uh, because I said that it's, uh, the URL has to be unique, it will actually just use this, the existing form request to do the work. So if I go and check this, no new form requests will have been created, but the existing form request is always uh, uh, re-registered and reused. So now my, uh, my uh, client can, of course, fill in all the information that he wants to fill in or review the documents and then click the Submit button.